Hello and welcome. So in this video, we are going to look into S3 life cycles. We're going to go log into our console and then we're going to start creating a bucket. For the bucket name, uh, we're going to type in, let's see, in one bucket. Try with today's date. See if we have it. Now, this is the bucket versioning and the one lifetime life cycles management we're gonna go and check that out in the properties maybe it was under the uh, okay I have I can get that name so <clears throat> management and life cycle so what exactly is life cycle if you have, are studying for AWS either cloud practitioner or solutions architect you will come across <clears throat> the scenario where it will say hey to save you more money if you don't use your data and it's just sitting idly on s3 we'll move, move into different s3 tiers uh, <clears throat> so i quickly search for this so these are the s3 tiers now we can see uh, the whole chart and everything now here it where it gets interesting so you can transfer your data to s3 standard after 30 days after 90 days you can put it in glacier but this is where you should be looking at what is your retrieval time how important it is now i know for some of the retrieve for example if you are looking for a, a uh, for some like documents like payroll department that you want it every month okay yeah you can go for uh, milliseconds or even minutes or hours if you are but if you if it's like audit data <clears throat> that can go into deep flash here that you don't mind the retrieval time and all that so it can be hours before you put in a request and you get the data so <clears throat> these definitely they charge you less if you move your data to <clears throat> other tiers it's just like uh, uh, how much money you're willing to spend and if it's worth it or not. Uh, so S3 standard to intelligent, standard infrequent access, one zone infrequent, mm, glacier, glacier flexible, and deep archive. So <clears throat> that is, you set, so you don't have to actually move your data um, manually. You just put in life cycle and this will be <clears throat> set up for you if you were to go ahead and select the intelligence steering uh, from the beginning it will be done automatically for you but if you want to do it you, from a bucket that's already created you can click create life cycle rules and you can see, see <clears throat> let's say my bucket life cycle uh, I don't know if uh, let's just to be on safe side let's remove all these spaces now you can either create filters and you can put the filter type meaning that hey a specific file that has this prefix needs to be moved so it's it's planning ahead so you will be uploading multiple files to this uh, bucket but the files that you really want to be moved around will you will assign a prefix and you will tell your user hey your files needs to be have this prefix so they can be moved around we're gonna for this video sake we're gonna move all objects we we're gonna acknowledge that it is applying to everything so if you have versioning enable it will tell you yeah it, here is the options so do you want the current version or the non-current version so for example you it's a website that you upload multiple index files maybe every week every day every hour so with each <clears throat> were like the older version you will have a great backlog you want to move it around but still uh, have a copy you don't want to delete them or expire current version of object so these are different things you can do whatever you uh, like select based on the company needs policy and you will select create Oh, let's go with this one. So, <clears throat> so you current version of object between stories. So, we win. We we don't have a versioning enable, 
but we don't want to use it we just want to go with this one so we'll telling the first rule is that it will be standard ia infrequent access and we're gonna put it 30 days uh, what happens so we will upload something to this bucket this bucket right here in round bucket that we just created and if we don't access that that object for 30 days that object will be moved to standard ia and we can put it to glacier so after 30 days it will sit in this bucket the, sorry in standard infrequent access and even and if we don't access it for another 90 days uh, from the date it was uploaded it means that hey this is really not a desired file we we hardly think about it so it will be moved to glacier and that will save even more money uh, so you can see day zero it's object uploaded day 30 that is the 30th day it will be moved to standard eia another 60 days total day third do, uh, 90 days it will be moved to glacier we hit create rule <coughs> oh i have to acknowledge that one time life cycle request cost per object if it's transition small object meaning that if this objects are too small aws will charges now you can see the status is enabled that is the lifecycle policy we can have multiple policies for this uh, buckets uh, for this bucket so these policies over here will be only for this bucket so for each individual bucket we'll go ahead and create our policies let's wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one